In February, the Da Vinci Classic record label released a CD consisting of the piano music of the Danish composer Niels Gada. Consisting of smaller character pieces or aquarelles and what many consider to be his masterpiece for the piano, his piano sonata in E minor, this CD sheds new light on an unjustly overlooked composer who was considered an equal by his contemporaries, notably Schumann and Mendelssohn. The pianist on this CD is the renowned Italian pianist Michele Tosetti. Tosetti has performed with chamber ensembles and orchestras throughout Italy and has recorded three CDs, including a CD that consists of the complete piano music of Leonard Bernstein. And joining me here over Zoom to talk about his latest CD featuring the piano music of Niels Gada, I am joined by Michele Tosetti. Michele, Hi. Is it right? Yeah, that's great. And uh, yeah. it's a pleasure for me to be here with you. Mm -hmm. uh, I first of all have to ask, how were you first introduced to Gada's music? And why did you decide to record a CD consisting of Gada's piano music? Well, uh, I have to admit that uh, this is the first uh, pieces that I studied about uh, Gada's music. And uh, I... I wanted to look for new music, you know, I, I, I mean, uh, uh, a little bit less known music. And mm -hmm. uh, so I found these pieces and uh, uh, I fell in love with them. Uh, as you read, uh, my last works were uh, chamber music works. So uh, the, this was like a comeback to, to solo music for me. And I fell in love with these pieces and I wanted to record them. And uh, luckily, uh, Da Vinci uh, were interested in this proposal. So uh, I think it's a really nice uh, work we did together. And uh, I hope uh, everyone enjoys that. Mm -hmm. Uh, I was reading the booklet and they were talking about how Gada was very much a nationalist composer. Uh, can you talk a little bit about that? Yeah, uh, well, mm, you can hear from his music you, when you listen to it, uh, you can hear uh, the influences uh, from uh, traditional music, uh, which of course was uh, um, also um, mixed with uh, uh, more romantic music because he, he also was uh, uh, a fan of Schumann and Mendelssohn. They were friends and uh, mm. they respected each other's music. So uh, you, you can uh, hear the mix of these two genres, the more traditional one and the, 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 the romantic one. And uh, f for the, 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 the sonata, uh, there is also the influence uh, of the, um, the 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 sonata from uh, Liszt. So uh, when when you listen to this music, you can hear all of these things together. And uh, also, I think that uh, the the composers who came after Gade were very much influenced by him. Also, uh, Grieg and all the Scandinavian composers uh, uh, were very much influenced by uh, Gade and the other composers who were like the bridge to the more traditional music. Uh, so it's very fascinating to me. Mm -hmm. uh, did you have to, did you, were you listening to a lot of Scandinavian folk music uh, in, when you were preparing the pieces or did Gade just provide uh, in the music what he, what he wanted? How did you interpret them? <laughs> Uh, well, I, uh, I, I didn't actually uh, listen to the traditional music, but uh, uh, you, 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 um, you can feel all the sonorities that he, he, uh, he chooses. And uh, that's already something uh, uh, new if you are more used to the romantic music, the one that we listen to um, more. And uh, th that's already fascinating enough to try to find the, your own way to interpret that music and mm. so yeah i didn't i, I didn't uh, study enough traditional music danish music but uh, this might be the chance to to start <laughs> mm. Uh, and one of the places where I really heard it on the CD was the uh, four fantasy stuck. All four of them very much have a sort of uh, folk dance uh, flavor to them, right? Yeah. Uh, in the beginning, they you, they should have been called uh, uh, folk dances, uh, which uh, which means uh, uh, 
dance music uh, uh, from uh, the tra traditional music uh, to mm -hmm. dance uh, yeah. and uh, uh, he changed the, the 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 title because he wanted to uh, like uh, make an homage to the to, to Schumann music uh, to his fantasy stuck so uh, I, I think it's it's also interesting to notice uh, the, the the similarities with the uh, the, the German composer and mm. uh, I think that also in the, 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 the water painting music uh, you can hear a lot of uh, Schumann and Mendelssohn and mm. uh, it, it, it's nice uh, it would, would be nice to, to learn uh, who influenced the who uh, considering that they all respond each other and uh, that's that's very fascinating yeah and it sort of leads nicely to my next question i mean uh, also on the cd uh, you've recorded two sets of aquarelles uh by uh gata the opus 19 and the opus 57 and these this is the first time i've heard this music and when i first heard the cd i thought these remind me of Mendelssohn's songs without words you know yeah it, yeah they're they're very very similar i mean it's music very much meant uh for the home and, and the salon do you think God was Mendelssohn was influenced by Mendelssohn, or was it just the fact that the two of them were sort of moving in the same circles? I think that's the the, the second one is more correct because uh, I, I think that that they influenced each other, and uh, um, that that's the, the 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 problem with forgetting you know these composers, these minor composers that uh, sometimes. Uh, uh, if if you listen to their music, you understand much more uh, Mendelssohn music, uh, Schumann music. Yeah, yeah. Uh, so so if we if, if we forget these composers, it's like uh, if we miss uh, a puzzle, uh, a piece from a puzzle, you know. And uh, I, I'm really happy that I I could study this music and uh, find that uh, that piece, <laughs> that puzzle piece. <laughs> <laughs> Mm. Uh, the centerpiece on the CD is Gada's E minor piano sonata. Uh, it took him a long time uh, to compose. Uh, can you talk about why it took him so long to compose uh, the, the piece? And why do you think it took him so long to complete it? I think that uh, it took him so long because he was never really satisfied with uh, with that. So he was always looking for something different and something more interesting. Uh, he was uh, very much uh, uh, surprised by by Liszt Sonata, and uh, I think that he, he was looking up to him. So mm. he, he wanted to make something. Uh, as as beautiful and uh, as big as uh, is sonata maybe it was too big because 15 years is <laughs> a pretty long time so uh, but uh, i think that in the end he, he found uh, what he was looking for and mm. uh, it's a very nice piece complex piece but uh, also very enjoyable to listen to yeah, and fifteen years is a long time to yeah, it's focus on pretty on much time. One, 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 it took it. me less time to to study it. <laughs> <laughs> is it uh, is playing the sonata any different than playing uh, the miniatures on the CD? Like, did it need did it require extra technical um, challenges? How was uh, playing the E minor sonata different than playing the aquarels? Say, it was uh, more challenging. Uh, also, because the the miniatures are, uh, um, uh, I would say it, that you feel more tired when you when you play something as big as the sonata, and uh, so it's uh, pretty challenging uh, also to focus for for that uh, for that that amount of time. Uh, but uh, it's it's also a piece a little bit more interesting because it's it's more complex and. Uh, uh, the, the the harmonies are uh, more are greater, you know. Mm -hmm. So so I, I enjoyed the also the the, the measures because uh, they are very different one from the other. Uh, but uh, from an interpretative uh, way, it's uh, it, it was more challenging the the sonata, of course. Mm -hmm. Uh, one of the things that also struck me when I listened to the CD was uh, you're playing on a piano made in 1899. Uh, can you talk about the piano that you used on this recording and why did you decide to record it on this particular piano? Well, I think that uh, this piano um, 
when you listen to it, you you, you can feel all, all, all his, his story, you know. Yeah, you can feel that it, it has something to tell to you, you know. Mm. And uh, I think that uh, its uh, its sound is uh, uh, it it matches very very well with uh, with this music in particular. And um, so 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 I, I I I looked for other pianos, but in the end I I. I I, I, I played on that one because I think that it was uh, uh, very good for this kind of uh, repertoire. Mm -hmm. So you're sort of hearing these pieces as Gatto would have would have heard them and 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 his contemporaries. I'm not sure about that, <laughs> <laughs> but I, I think that it matches well with what we are uh, we would like to hear now. Mm -hmm. uh, I, I'm not sure that uh, he, he would be uh, extremely uh, happy with that sound because it's it's completely different from uh, the one he was uh, used to uh, in his time. But uh, I, I think that uh, the listeners will, might may enjoy it. Mm -hmm. uh, he, God is such a person of pride in Denmark. It does beg the question: Are there any concerts planned for you uh, in Denmark to perform God's music? Do you have any of that lined up? Uh, and and how has the overall reaction of the CD been? Uh, well, uh, I, I'm. Mm, uh, I, I would like to organize something in Denmark, and I'm. Tr I'm looking. Mm, I, I'm trying to to, to do it, uh, but uh, for the moment, not yet. Um, but uh, here in Italy, I have had uh, many chances to play it, uh, and uh, I have had the chance to play to play it also in the Danish uh, Academy in it, in Rome. So oh, wow. I, uh, some kind of connection with the the, the Danish people, I, I I could make it, uh, and let's see what what happens next. Uh, but anyways, I think that uh, it's going pretty well. Mm. And it's it's uh, it's starting to create some some interest uh, in the, the people who, who are discovering this music. So I'm pretty happy with the with the work we've done. Mm -hmm. Yeah, and for me, this whole entire CD was just been a great discovery. Uh, I'm a big fan of uh, Goddess music. What do you think? Uh, what do you hope listeners will take away from uh, from listening to the CD? Well, I hope that. Uh, they can find uh, the interest uh, in looking for other composers like that. And that's also our job. I mean, uh, uh, musicians uh, should, uh, should also be the first ones to, to try to discover more composers uh, rather than always uh, study the same ones. Although the, there's nothing bad with that, uh, I mean Beethoven, uh, Mozart, they they have always something new to tell. But yeah. anyways, uh, uh, sometimes we we forget too much about uh, these other composers, and they have so much to to tell us. And I think that uh, uh, if uh, uh, we can manage to uh, create. Uh, more connections uh, uh, it's it's uh, a, a very good thing to do mm -hmm. uh, I'll wrap up the conversation by asking uh, where can people go to hear your recordings and perhaps reach out and book you for concerts well um, to hear my music uh, you, you can find it uh, online uh, uh, on Spotify Apple Music uh, and uh, it's also possible to 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 buy it uh, online, uh, and I think it's it should be easy also to buy the the, the physical copy uh, also in Canada. But uh, I have to check. And anyways, uh, in uh, in Italy, I have some more concerts. Uh, uh, you can look for my Facebook page. Uh, my website is not uh, very much updated, but uh, uh, I am uh, pretty active on uh, social networks. So. so uh, if you want to look for um, my next uh, date, so you can find it there. Mm, amazing. Uh, Michele, this has just been great. Thanks for taking the time to talk to me about this marvelous CD of the music of Niels Gada. Thanks again. Thank you very much. It's always nice to talk about this music.